Good evening. Thanks for being here and welcome to the 5 o'clock news. I'm Camilla Ortiz. Today, runners took over the Rose City. Thousands laced up their shoes and took part in the 2021 Portland Marathon. The event had to be canceled last year because of the pandemic, but it made quite the comeback this morning with runners eager to hit the pavement. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy is live downtown after talking with runners and supporters who were excited to get back out there. Connor. Well, Camilla, all those runners lined up here at the waterfront park here in downtown, and they were getting ready for that 26.2 mile loop around the Rose City. And though many of those runners crossed the finish line here at the waterfront park exhausted, they were grateful that the pandemic didn't cancel this year's race. Three, two, one. And they were off. It was beautiful. Perfect weather, great course, really well run race. The Portland Marathon and Half Marathon back after being canceled last year because of the pandemic. First race in a while, it feels good to be back. Runners started in downtown Portland at the waterfront, headed south to the Selwood Bridge, headed back north through East Portland, then crossed over the Burnside Bridge back into downtown. It was a beautiful run, beautiful views, uh, lots of supporters. Yeah, it was really fun. Although things seemed a bit normal, organizers still put several COVID-19 precautions in place. Despite that, a traditional sponsor, OHSU, pulled out, citing health concerns. Last month, OHSU said in a statement, quote, participation in the marathon as a runner or volunteer is, of course, a personal decision for our members and the general public. But as Oregon's academic health center and a public leader in health and science, OHSU will not be sponsoring this year's event. Regardless of the COVID threat, those at the marathon say it felt good to take part in one of Portland's annual traditions. It's definitely something I missed. I moved here during COVID, so uh, I was used to the, the before normal times and how alive the city was, so it's good to see things be back to normal. And Camilla, the Portland Marathon required all runners to be vaccinated and show proof of vaccination. And the runners we talked to say that this protocol made the race feel safer and more enjoyable. Live in downtown Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon. All right, Connor, thanks. It was a great morning for it. And here's a look at the results from the marathon. First place overall went to Matt Spear. The 32-year-old ran 26.2 in just under two and a half hours. That's five minutes and 40 seconds per mile pace. The first woman to break the tape was 26-year-old Carrie Hamilton. She finished with a time of just over two hours and 53 minutes with a pace of six minutes and 37 seconds per mile.